So this is a trial that was presented by my colleague Professor Sylvie Freeman from Birmingham. And this is a trial for older patients with AML, primarily over the age of 60, up to about the age in the mid 70s. And this was intensive chemotherapy with, uh, again, DA3 plus 7 like treatment uh, combined with two different doses of gemtuzumab azacomycin. Again, so we, uh, similar, some, rather similar to the randomization in AML 19, except we didn't use flag IDA up front. And this, result, this uh, trial shows an interesting result. Again, when we focus on those patients without adverse risk cytogenetics who entered that randomization, we found that there was a survival benefit for patients receiving the DAGO2, the fractionated two doses of gemtuzumab, compared to those that received just one dose of gemtuzumab. And this survival benefit was seen, uh, and, and this was associated with an improvement in MRD response. So patients who received DAGO2 were more likely to be MRD negative and more likely to be very low level MRD negative than those who received GO1. And as about 30% of these patients in, went, into, uh, went on to have an allogeneic reduced intensity transplant in first remission, we found that those patients in the GO2 arm had an improved survival post-transplant to those in the GO1 arm. And we think this is because of a low starting level of minimal residual disease in the bone marrow, and the consolidation effect of transplantation is therefore stronger. Um, when we censored for transplant in first remission, this survival benefit for GO2 was lost. And the impact of GO2 on MRD was seen across the different molecular subgroups, but it was particularly strong in patients with IDH1 and IDH2 mutations, and to a degree with MPM1 mutations. Um, so I think this has an important uh, impact on how we treat older patients with intensive therapy, because DAGO2 induces what you might call a better quality remission for these patients. And if you're going to consolidate that with either a transplant or perhaps with new maintenance therapies such as oral azacitidine to have the patient in an MRD negative remission prior to starting either transplantation or consolidation will give that patient a, in our hands a significant survival benefit.